some of you might have heard about a mention of Israel in an ancient Egyptian document. They are talking about the Merneptah stele, erroneously called the Israel stele. It's in uh, Egypt, in, in the Cairo Museum. Now, I'm going to show you the, the, the line, the part that they claim means Israel, because it's not. Okay, on the actual stele, you read it from right to left, but for clarity's sake, you're going to see it underneath um, from left to right. So, what I've done, right, because it's a bit technical there, is for those who want to take it further and maybe learn the hieroglyphs, the Meduneta, I have put the meaning of each symbol, and underneath I have put their number according to the cardinal um, list, okay? So then you can, you basically you have a breakdown of the, the meaning of that, that actual part. It's not the whole sentence, but that's the part that uh, we are interested in now, okay? Some of those symbols, you probably notice that there is no, um, no description, like no translation, like which, le which letter it means, because it doesn't actually mean the letter. It's, it's just to give a, a better definition. You know, it's an ideogram, that's what it is, okay? But basically, what it spells is Isri-ar, or Isrir, okay? And that's how it's spelled most of the time, okay? And another thing that's important, uh, the last symbols is um, a man and a woman, and underneath you have the three strokes for the plural. So that tells you that it, it's talking about people, not an actual place, you understand? earlier you I don't know if you remember but I showed you for example how to say for, for, for the word Kemet for example you have a certain symbol that means city or town or settlement etc and for country as a matter of fact it's a symbol that I have not shown but it's like a ma mountain okay but so basically we have the man the woman it means it means people and he, you might re you might remember that because it was closer when I showed you um, on the tomb of Ramesses the third you know, and you, you could see the man and the woman. You, if you go back, you will see. So it's talking about people. So saying that it, it means Israel is wrong, definitely. Okay. So if anybody try, is trying to throw that at you, then you know how to get back at them. All right. That's very important because there's so many misconceptions. And the funny thing as well is that they are always trying to use. I mean, when it comes to archaeology, you know and they try to have some legitimacy, they always have to go to the Egyptian documents. You understand? 